BTC 14 clash, we've got ourselves the semi-finals of the BTC $10,000 Bantamweight tournament as the first fight will be Izzardine Atma taking on Vinny Diaz. And with Izzardine Atma, this is a guy that we've just seen really grow in terms of his, you know, jujitsu and his ability to stuff takedowns. And his debut back at BTC 10, Jake Girl Rao really just, you know, took Izu wherever he wanted with his wrestling and then grappling and eventually got a submission against Izu. But since then, Izzardine Atma has really picked up what he can do, stuffing takedowns, stuffed all the takedowns against Isaiah Metatuck and then stuffed the takedowns against Nate Small and with Izu as well. His, we know that these Atmas, these striking is going to be really impressive and the striking has been. Look, he got that submission victory that he really wanted against Nate Small who was coming off a big win and he rocked Nate with a huge right hand. It made that setting up that submission that much more easy and you know, as we're talking about how important it's going to be to stuff takedowns, that's what you're going to need to do up against Vinny Diaz because grappling and submission style fighting, that is Vinny Diaz's world. This is a guy that loves to get the fight to the ground. All of his wins as a professional have come by way of a submission. So for, for Atma, he's going to need to be really solid. We don't know too much about Vinny Diaz's striking still. Like he showed flashes of it in that first fight against Sosa, but he just got into his natural element of being more comfortable getting the fight to the ground and eventually a submission. So that's what makes this fight interesting is what can Izu do stuffing takedowns? And if Izu is successful at that, how will Vinny react on the stand up with his striking?